excitement today, isn't it, Sooty? Because today we have a very, very special visitor coming, don't we? Yeah. You see, the fact is that last week Sweep had a brain wave and he sent out this letter to all of his relatives. Sooty, read the letter to them. On second thoughts, you got a sore throat. I'll read the letter. It goes like this. Dear relative, there will be a get-together of the Sweep family at Sooty's house next Tuesday. Let me know if you are coming, love, Sweep. That was his letter. Well, so far, there's only been one reply. But even that is mega exciting. This is from Sweet's long-lost brother. It's, that's Sweet's from, isn't it, Sweet? And it goes like this. Dear brother, I will be there on Tuesday. Good, eh? I am enclosing a photo of myself so you will be able to recognise me. Your loving brother, Swoop. <laughs> There's only one problem. He's sent the photograph, but he's sent the wrong one. Look, that is actually a picture of Sweep, isn't it? <laughs> Never mind. Go on, go use the bathroom. Make yourself look nice. Go on, Sooty, off you go. Perhaps being dim runs in the Sweep's family. Uh, fancy sending the wrong photograph. And fancy having a brother called Swoop. <laughs> I must say your new collar suits you, Sweep. A lovely blue, icy blue. There's someone at the door? Yes, I can hear them. It could be your brother. Well, yes, I suppose it could. Why don't you go and let him in, Sweep? Mm, oh, that dog. Oh, hello, Sooty. Sweep's just left at the speed of Concord to let his brother in. Ah, there you are. We were just talking about you. Did you find your brother? No? Oh, dear, he's probably got lost downstairs somewhere. Go and find him and bring him here. We're dying to meet him, aren't we, Sooty? Go on, go and find your brother. What do you mean, is that the way downstairs? Of course it is. Oh, I think all this excitement has gone to his head. You can't find it. Ah, sweep! How did you get there? You don't know? You're going to ask Sooty? You're going to ask Sooty what? You're going to ask him if he's seen your brother? Well, I don't suppose he has done, because he's been here most of the time. But it's a free country, I suppose. What sweep? You're going to look downstairs. Good idea. See if you can find him down there. Go on. Well, he's behaving in a very strange... Wah! <gasps> Will you stop doing that? <laughs> Stop doing what? Well, suddenly appearing like that. What are you doing? Looking for your brother? Yes, but how do you keep suddenly appearing like that? And another thing, what have you done with your pretty blue collar? You haven't got one? Yes, you have. It's a brain you haven't got. Has anyone seen your brother? No, we haven't, Sweep. Oh, and there's your blue collar, you dozy dog. You're wearing it. You must have taken this red one off pretty quick. <gasps> Sweep! That's your brother. And that's your brother. But you look exactly the same. Did you hear that banging on the door a couple of minutes ago? I wonder if that was Sweep's brother, Swoop. I think I'm about to learn the answer. What is it, Sweep? Your brother's here. Great, don't get too excited. Just calm down. You're getting far too excited. Sweep, I got a little prezzy for your brother. A bone. Yes, all right. All right, look. Would you take this to your brother? Do you think you'll like it? You go and get it. No, 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 hang on. Yeah, what is it? How... Would you stop creeping up on people like that? 
Anyway, I'm glad that you've returned because you've forgotten something very important. It's this. Look, take that to your brother. Yes. Okay. There's a good boy. Don't do that. Don't... Where's the bone? What bone? The bone for your brother? Well, I... I just gave it to you. No, I didn't. I'm sorry, but yes, I did sweep. I mean, I distinctly remember you were standing over there and I got up to you and I said, give this bone to your brother. Well, I mean, there it is. You can't deny it. You had it all the time, didn't you? So you couldn't... Whoa! <laughs> Sooty, quickly up! Come up here! There's two of them! Look, there's two of them! You know? What do you mean, you know? They're brothers. Brothers? What, you mean this is... Swoop! You're kidding! You mean this really was a photograph of you all the time? Well, that's absolutely amazing! I've done... Look, now I understand. I'm so sorry. You must think I'm very silly. <laughs> you do? But I can't get over you. You're so alike. You're identical twins! Identical twins! They're like two peas in a pod. You're right, I've never seen anything like it. But how rude. You must be dying to use the bathroom after a long journey. So see, sweep, go and show Swoop how, where the bathroom is. Go on, off you go. Go on. Oh, fancy that. Identical twins. This is incredible. Identical twins. You never told us you had an identical twin brother, Sweep. We never asked. Oh, no, that's true. I must remember to put it on my list of questions to ask people I know extremely well. They're very, very similar, aren't they, Sooty? You're identical, yes. In every way. People can't tell you apart. Oh, well, yes. As I say, you are very similar, but I don't think it's that difficult to tell you apart. Which one is he? Why, he's Sweep. And you are Swoop. Do you agree, Sooty? Which one are you? Why, you're Sweep, which means that you must be Swoop, correct? Hmm, I wonder what they're up to. Which one of you? You're Swoop, isn't he, Sooty? No, he isn't. But he must be. He's wearing the red collar. You just changed collars? No, oh, really, that's not fair. That was the only way we had to tell the difference between you, wasn't it, Sweepy? Oh, listen, that's the door. Uh, sweep, I mean, swoop. Oh, well, whoever you are, go down and answer it, will you? You both are good. Phew, talk about double trouble. Having two sweeps around is almost too much for a panda to bear. Hello. Oh, humour him, will you, Sooty? Wave to him. You're lost? You've also lost your collar, which means no one will know who you are. Which one are you? Are you Sweep? You're Sweep. And you're Swoop. Well, who is this, for goodness sake? This is Cousin Swipe? Oh, no! Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. amazed at how similar they all are. <laughs> Let me see if I've got this right so far. This one here, the one with the blue collar on, the one nearest to us, you are Sweep. Is that right? <laughs> you sure? Yes? Yeah. And the one next to you, that's that's your cousin Swipe, who we haven't met before. Is that right? Yes? Are we right so far? And the one on the far end with the red collar on, that is your brother, Swoop. <laughs> Am I right? Well, this is absolutely fantastic, I must say. Look, Sweep, why don't you show your relatives around the house? Go on. Off you go. Go on. They're so similar, Matthew, aren't they? I mean, Matthew, they're all... Matthew, please listen to me. Oh, what? dear, something awful has happened. I, I can't believe it. It's terrible. Oh, I've come over all unnecessary. So come... Oh, I found something. What do you mean you found something? What have you found? Where? Well, it's outside on the back doorstep. It's, it's awful, Matthew. Oh, well, well, oh. What exactly is it, Sue? It's... it's this. Th this? Oh, Sue! Yeah, I've been worried for a minute. This is... this is... 
Well, I'm not quite sure who it is, but it's one of Sweep's relatives. What's so it... terrible about that? What's so terrible? I'll show you what's so terrible. This. <laughs> and <Yeah>. this. <laughs> and this. I don't know. <laughs> just, just, just a minute. Two, one, two, three, <laughs> four. <laughs> Who's the newcomer? <laughs> That's Swap. <laughs> swap? Who's Swap? Another cousin? You see, Matthew, this is terrible news. <laughs> no, no, it's not terrible, Sue. It's brilliant news. All of Sweet's relatives are welcome. But tell you what, Sue, we shall now have a party to celebrate. Go and lay the table. Go on. Oh, Sweet family, Sweet family, please um, say hello to each other. Go on. <laughs> Fantastic tea, thanks a lot, Sue. We've had egg sandwiches and chocolate biscuits and crisps and uh, yeah, jelly and ice cream. Well, that's us lot anyway. And the sweep lot down there, well, they've had bones on toast and bone sandwiches without the bread. They've also had, uh, yeah, what else? Chocolate bones. Yeah, without the chocolate, but of course. And a little bones on sticks. Oh. Was it somebody at the door? Yes. I hope it's not any more of your relatives. <laughs> Come in! If it is more of your relatives, you're gonna have to go to the shop and buy some. Oh, what is this? Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Hello. Now, Good afternoon. Hush, please, bit of hush, please. What? I have a poem for sweep. <laughs> yes, one sweep. Sweep. Well, I don't know. Uh, uh, that one, the one with the blue collar. That yes. one. Right now. Keep in that order. Yes, okay. Here we go then. A short poem on a long bit of paper. Here we go. That. Good afternoon to everyone. Good Please afternoon. don't be alarmed. No, no. I'm a very friendly and, and full of fun. I won't do you any harm. I'm oh, glad to hear you. Yes, Sweets, Mum and Dad, they're ever so nice. Yes. Said they'd be here today if they could. If they, could. they asked me to say that bit slowly, uh, since you're as thick as two short bits of wood. Me? I suppose you are all wondering exactly who I am. Well, oh. relax. I'd be sent by Sweep's parents. You see, I'm an entertainer-gram. Oh, I, an entertainer-gram! It's time now to stop all my rhymes. Yes. Sometimes things are not as they seem. True. I'm not really a poet who doesn't really know it. Right. I'm a clown, and here's my routine. A clown is here an entertainer-gram. Here we go, then here we go. Here we go. I am now going to show you yes. the very complicated art of balloon modelling. What, you ready to start? You got a balloon? Here right. we go, here we go, here we go. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Like... Oh, Watch carefully. Yes. Very good. There we That's go. There we go. There we go. Is there more? Yeah, there's more. There's more. I see. There's more. You there haven't we finished then. Now, yes. I'm now going to ask Sweep. There's the one on the end, aren't you? Yes, the one that's the one with the blue collar, yes. Name yes. any animal in the world. Think carefully. Think carefully. Yes. A dog! dog. Brilliant! Brilliant! Yes. Here we go then. An a a dog, dog out of this purple balloon. Yes. You're never going to Watch carefully, I'm going to ask questions afterwards. Right. That's going to be a dog, is it really? This is going to be a dog. Can you see a dog coming yet, Sue? Do you think that's going to be a dog? Okay, see a dog? No, I'm not yet, no. It's a bunch of grapes, is it? No, it's not a bunch of grapes. Purple grapes. What? Look at that! A dog! It's a poodle! It's a poodle! There we are. That's the sweet. That's the sweet. That's the sweet. Okay, well done. Now, one for Sue. Ooh, okay. Sue, nice, Sue. What animal I, would you like? Oh, a giraffe, I think. A, a giraffe. giraffe! I bet it's glad you said that. Come on, a giraffe. A, a, a green, green giraffe. giraffe. A green oh, giraffe. Well, they're a very, very rare breed of oh, giraffe. Sure they are. Here we go, here we go. A green giraffe. Oh, so friendly. <laughs> green giraffe. Will it be reticulated or just there we are? A oh, green giraffe! Look at that! Very good. Oh, thank you, I don't very recognize nice. that anywhere. Now, what is Swoop and, um, what's your name on the end? Swipe, uh, Swap, Sweep, and Swoop. Let me take your pick. Well, one for two. The one on the, the one on the end. That's that Swoop on the end, isn't it? I'm very confused, very confused. Oh, what's this going to be? What's this going to be? This is the amazing doubling balloon. Doubling balloon. The amazing Ooh. doubling balloon. Now, watch very carefully. Watch, watch, one watch, watch. balloon. It's one balloon. Can we see that? Yes, it's quite obvious that it's one balloon. What? <laughs> Two balloons! He's so strong, so hunky! Take it, old drummer! 
Sweep, sweep, just just calm down. Stop it. Stop, stop, stop. It's his way of getting rid of excess energy, Matthew. It's also his way of giving me a dizzy spell, Sue. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sooty says the reason that Sweep is so excited is because I've allowed Swoop, Swap and Swipe to stay the night. There's somebody knocking at the door. Go and see who it is, Sooty. Go on. Well, it's certainly been a busy day for you, hasn't it, Sweep? <laughs> it's been brilliant, yes. <laughs> you want to wave to your family? Well, off you go. I'm sure Matthew won't mind. Be my guest, Sweep. Go on. Get, say goodbye. To Say hello. Come on, say. Oh, hang on. There's Sooty coming back. Just a minute. Come on in, Sooty. Who on earth was it at the door? You're ever so excited. Well, tell us who it was, because the suspense is killing me. Oh, don't tell me. It's probably Princess Diana again. Is it calling round? She never warns me. Anyway, whoever it is, it must be pretty important. That you are. Yes, I'm sure you are, but it... Just a minute. Who are you? <laughs> Your sweep's dead. And this is Sweet's mum. Sweet, we've got the whole of your family here. <laughs> not quite. What do you mean, not quite? <laughs> There's his other brothers. What do you mean, his other brothers? How many brothers are there? There's another seven in the litter. Well, there's already enough people here. It's a shame they couldn't make it, isn't it? They can. But who's that? There's another brother there. Uh, hang on a minute. There's, there's, there's somebody else here. Sue, Sue, you better come and sleep in my room. The place is full of sweets, for goodness sake. Oh, there's a, a green giraffe. It looks like the ghost. Have you got Sue? Come on out here. Oh, this is, this is impossible. I've never seen this. Sue, it's not more of Sweep's relatives, is it? No, just peace and quiet, absolute <gasps> silence. You're right, silence. Oh, silence is golden, as they say. Are you tired, Sue? Sleepy? Mm, nicely sleepy. Good. Good night, Matthew. Night, night, Sue. Oh, and uh, if you're worried about us having an early night, please don't be. If you want to be where the in crowd is, you know where to be, don't you? <sighs> bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Bye Just another two more. 99. Be with you in a minute. 100. Good morning, Matthew. Matthew! Oh. Oh, what was... Oh, ah, Matthew! Oh. Sooty, Sooty, quickly! Oh. Matthew's had a funny turn, but goodness sake, do something! Oh. <laughs> Sue! I've not had a funny turn. I'm, I'm just having a rest. I've just done a hundred sit-ups. A hundred sit-ups? Yes. I'm in to keep fit. Oh, no, not again. What do you mean, not again? What do you mean? What if you and these crazes you get? Me? Crazes? Yes, like one week it's fishing, then it's building balsa wood models, then it's gardening, now it's keep fit. Yeah, well, What's, uh, what's wrong with that? Well, nothing, Matthew, except that whatever you get into, you're always fanatical about it, isn't he, Sooty? Me fanatical? Yes! Me? <laughs> you want to talk fanatical? Look at Sweep. I mean, now Sweep is fanatical. He's fanatical about judo, he's fanatical about karate, but me fanatical? 
Now, if you'll just excuse me, I've got another 30 sit-ups to do, then 100 press-ups, 50 star jumps, and that's before breakfast. Mm, ha! I'm sorry, can't I, Sooty? He uh, is fanatical. Uh, Mind you, he's uh, right, too. I mean, uh, Sweep is fanatical as well, uh, isn't he? Uh, it has to be said that both Sue and Matthew are right. Sweet does get fanatical. Right now, he's fanatical about karate. He's trained very hard, and now he's going to give little cousin Scampi a demonstration of his powers. With his bare paws, Sweep will smash through this two-inch thick piece of solid oak. First of all, he bows to show his respect, then summoning up all his concentration, he bows again, and then again, and once more, oh, for goodness sake, do get on with it, Sweep. Just get on with it. He moves to the piece of wood. He lifts his paw high up in the air. He gives a blood-curdling scream and... Oh, he's decided to start with an easier one. Oh, well done, Sweep. Everybody's really impressed, especially little cousin Scampy. Now, what about this one, Sweep? No problem, says Sweep. And to make it even more impressive, he's going to smash the wood whilst also wearing a blindfold. Wow! He's actually going to break that two-inch thick piece of wood whilst blindfolded. Well, this should certainly iron out any doubt in anyone's mind about Sweep's skill. And this should certainly iron out any mind that Sweep ever had, no doubt. That little cousin Scampy is such a rascal. You are fanatical, Matthew. I don't know why you don't admit it. You do everything to excess, doesn't he, Sooty? You what? Including this large breakfast? Listen to me. The reason I'm having such a large breakfast and why I've asked Sue to cook so much for me is because I'm very, very hungry. I've just been working extremely hard and after breakfast I'm going to do a lot of exercises. I'm going to pump a bit of the old iron and then I'm going to go on a long, hard run. Ah, uh -huh, there you are again, you see. Fanatical. I suppose we ought to be grateful it doesn't affect your eating habits. What? What do, you, what do you mean? Well, if you were really, really fanatical, you may decide that, for example, you shouldn't be eating those eggs. What? What, you mean nobody should eat these eggs? Well, no, no, I'm not talking about children or other people. I'm talking about you, Matthew. Well, what, what's wrong with the eggs? What? They're fried? Mm, and they're full of cholesterol. Cholesterol? Just a minute, that's, a, that's meant to be uh, bad for your heart, isn't it? Mm. Well, yes, if you have too much, it can be harmful. Killer eggs! Just a minute, just a minute, Sooty, pass me a plate. I'll just scrape this on here. Actually, I just remembered that I don't actually like eggs. Matthew! No, 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 I'm not being fanatical. Honestly, I'm not. I just don't like eggs. Anyway, never mind, because I can continue to enjoy my uh, breakfast. Sausages. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Nothing wrong with sausages, is there? What? Additives? Additives? Well, what? yes, there will be some flavourings, colourings and emulsifiers. Mm. But, of course, there's nothing to be alarmed about if you eat them in moderation. Flavourings, mm. colourings and emulsifiers? Man, emulsified to death by killer sausages. God, oh, silly me. I'd forget my head if it was loose. Get a plate, please, Susie. Quickly, side plate. I just remembered, Sue, that I told Sweep that he could have these sausages. God, I nearly forgot. Ooh, that was lucky. Right, OK, uh, now we can carry on with breakfast with the bacon. Um, no cholesterol? Well, not too bad, Matthew, because I grilled it. Uh, grilled, not fried? No, grilled, so it should be OK. Good. Uh, no additives? No, Matthew, and no emulsifiers. Great. In that case, it's bacon with no problems whatsoever. What does he want? Apart from the chemicals. Chemicals? Well, well, look, it's nothing to worry about, Matthew, but they will have used nitrates and salts in the curing process. Nitrates and salts? Hmm. Goodness me, look at the time. 
Doesn't time fly when you don't know what you're doing? You must excuse me, I have to fly. I've got to go and do some exercises, OK? And after that, I'm going to do some star jumps and a few press-ups, OK? So, sorry about the breakfast, but see you later. Bye-bye, bye, bye. must fly. There he goes, true to form, fanatical. Sooty, you must do something to put him off this silly training programme. Can't you go and see to his equipment so it puts him off a bit? Good idea? OK. So, Sue's had a good idea, and so has Sweep. He's decided to move away from karate and do a bit of judo instead. Judo, the ancient art of self-defence. Sweep is fanatical about judo. And he's going to show little cousin Scampy just how good he is. Now, these are weapons, says Sweep. I want you to choose one of these, any one, or any weapon come to that, and make an attack on me. And don't worry, I will block the attack. Are you sure? asks little cousin Scampy. Of course I'm sure, my little friend. I will stop you by using my judo. Now, if you're ready, let the attack begin. Hey, look, says Scampy. Pretty flashing lights out of the window behind you. I can't see any pretty flashing lights, says Sweep. Ah, now I can see the pretty flashing lights. So, while Sweep was having a lie down watching the pretty flashing lights, Sooty was busy fixing Matthew's equipment. Some glue under the dumbbells. Some oil on the exerciser. A little sawing work on the chest expanders. And a slight tuning up of the running machine. Well, this should help to put Matthew off exercising and Sooty's in hiding so he can watch. Ha! Nothing will put me off exercising. Do you know, it's great to be the master of your own muscles, to be in charge of your body, to be able to send a message from your brain down through the little nerve endings of your arms saying, lift that, and they will. What they used to be able to do. God, look at that. Miss one breakfast and a... Oh, no, no. I know what it is. I'm not warmed up. I shall use my exerciser. Great things, these. For getting the old system going. Just squeeze them together. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, <sighs> the chest expanders. I'll warm up with the chest expanders. Now, these are a really great invention. Old as the hills, but still reliable. A little bit like me in many ways. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Smashing things, these. Smashing. <clears throat> ah! The running machine. The old running machine never fails this. Good way of exercising. Let me see. Great things because there's pumping the blood with none of the mud. Just a minute. It's a little bit quick there. Shouldn't be, shouldn't actually be going this quick. It's going backwards and forth. There's something wrong with this. I'm going to have to jump off. Thing is, I don't know what's going to happen when I do. Stand back. Stand back. I'm going to have to jump. about still wanting to do more exercise. Sue, listen, my body is a finely tuned instrument. It needs playing. Oh, <clears throat> why don't you have a break, Matthew? After all, you've got no usable equipment left. Sue, I'm not going to let a little thing like that put me off. That's why I'm looking in this telephone directory. I'm going to find a gymnasium with all of the equipment that I shall ever need. Let me just uh, have... <laughs> oh, God, listen, listen to this. Listen, listen, it's good. Look at this. Elaine's aerobics. Wait, mm. this is the best bit. Movement and exercise to music. Listen, listen. Not for the faint-hearted. 
<laughs> aerobics. <laughs> what a load of nonsense. You wouldn't catch me going to an aerobics class. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, but what? aerobics happens to be an excellent way of getting exercise, and I wouldn't poo-poo it if I were you. What? I don't think that you would be up to doing an hour's worth of aerobics. What? Well, I can hardly believe my ears. Well, you don't think that I'm up to doing an hour's worth of aerobics? No, I don't. It's a completely different form of exercise to the one you're used to, and despite all your boasting, I don't think you'd last more than more well, half an hour. You're joking! Do you see a smile playing about my lips? What? She's not joking. Listen, Sue, I'm going to take you up. In fact, you can ring up this, uh, this Elaine person and book me an hour's worth of aerobics, advanced level. Right Sooty, you can come along and make sure a fair play. Come on. Sure. Well, Sooty, it's, uh, it's three o'clock. No sign of... Elaine yet? She's probably afraid of being shown up by me. Matthew Corbett? Uh, yes? Hi, I'm Elaine. Oh. <gasps> I'm going to take you through your hours aerobics. What, you? Yes. On your own? Yes, why? Well, it's just that uh, you're a... Um, well, you're a... Uh, you see... Well, you're a woman. You can be worn out after five minutes. I mean, my body is a finely tuned instrument. Yes, Tubby the Tuba, by the looks of it. <laughs> Shall we start? You, just a minute, where's, uh, where's everybody else, the rest? Oh, your friend Sue, is it? Yes. Well, she rang and asked me if I would give you some very special personal attention. So, if you'd like to just watch me and copy every movement that I do, OK? OK. Oh, hello, Sooty. Look. You just stay where you are, and if you feel like it, you can join in. But don't strain anything. No, don't strain anything. You think this is going to be easy, don't you? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. OK, smarty pants. Don't forget, copy everything that I do. And I mean everything. Got it? Got it. OK, sooty. Hit it.
whilst Matthew was having a lie down, watching the pretty flashing lights, Sweep was getting fanatical about his judo again. These are the weapons, says Sweep, for the second time. I want you to choose one of these and make an attack on me. Don't worry, I'll block the attack. And this time, I will not fall for the old it's-behind-you routine. This time, I will be victorious. You won't, says little cousin Scampy. I will, says Sweep. Won't, says Scampy. Will, says Sweep. I've got a brown belt. Well, I've got a red and black tie, says Scampy, but it makes no difference. You couldn't knock the skin off a rice pudding. Of course I could knock the skin off a rice pudding, says Sweep. At which point, Scampy produces a rice pudding. Go on, then. This I must see, he says, in close-up. Oh, you can see it, says Sweep. In extreme close-up, too. And with that... Oh! oh, oh Scampy goes headfirst into the rice pudding. Well, Sweep thinks that's very funny until... Uh-oh! There are those pretty flashing lights again. You know, I have to confess that occasionally, I mean, just very, very occasionally, perhaps I am a, a little bit of a fanatic. <laughs> so are you. <laughs> I know you are, Sweep. Sweep is what is known as a chip off the old block. You know, it doesn't always pay off. I mean, look at me today. I've made a complete fool of myself. All that training. I'm too old for that sort of thing. Do you know something? I must need my head looking at... <laughs> You certainly need your head looking at. Yes, you do. Poor old Sweep. Are you all right? Hey, just a minute, just a minute. I can't sit around here, Sweep. The 10,000 metre race starts soon. I'll miss it if I'm not careful. What, Sweep? Am I running? What, in the race? No, I'm going to watch it on the television. <laughs> hi there. Oh, oh, hi. That, hi, Hello, everybody. Matthew. Now, listen, I think you're both very, very wise to calm down a bit. Yeah. An odd hour or so of being a couch potato in front of the TV, well, it never did anyone any harm. That's true, Sue. Mm. Which is why we hope that you will join us again very soon. Until then, bye-bye, bye bye, everybody. Bye-bye. But watch the race, watch the race. Isn't this a nice surprise? Finding Sue and Sweep and Sooty all nice and quiet, tucked up in their beds, safe and sound. Whoa! Oh! 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 Look at that! I've just stepped out of bed and fallen over on that. Oh, hurt my ankle. I'm going to have a serious word with Sooty and Sweet and Sue about this. Ooh. Ooh. Well, it could have been mm. somebody stepping on a cat's tail sweet, but oh. I think it was more like oh. Matthew. Mm. Oh, oh, good morning, Matthew. Mm. Oh. What's the matter? Oh, well, I've just fallen over, Sue, and hurt my ankle. Mm. Well, you really should be more careful, Matthew. Me? Mm. Be more mm. careful? Yes. Look, this is why I fell over. It belongs to Sweet. Does it? It's Sooty's. Mm. Well, it doesn't matter who it belongs to. The point is, it was left by my bed. I fell on it and fell over. <laughs> oh, you think that's funny, do you? Listen, listen. How would you feel? How would you feel if I told you that the picnic we got organised for today has got to be cancelled? Oh, no. Yeah, it's not so funny now, is it? 
Well, you must be more careful with toys lying around. I could have slipped and hurt myself seriously, then the picnic would have had to have been called off. <laughs> so I'll go and get changed, and then we'll get the picnic organised, all right? Yippee, Ooh. yippee. Oh, I think Ooh. it's going to be hot today. <laughs> I think I'm going to be... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 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 Look at that. Oh, what sweep. <laughs> this is how serious accidents happen. I know this is how serious accidents happen. Don't leave things lying around. <laughs> Just want to hurt my wrist now. Sort of go and run my bath, would you please? Go on. Honestly, first of all, my ankle and then my wrist. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, hello, sweet. <laughs> Ow! Ooh. Am I all right? Well, yes, I will be all right. I've sprained my ankle and, uh, and my wrist. <laughs> You're sorry. Yes, all right. I, I know you didn't do it on purpose, sweet, but you see, that's what accidents are. They're not done on purpose, but they can be very, very serious. <laughs> now, listen, if you want to go on this picnic, will you uh, go and use the bathroom? <laughs> I've asked Sooty to run a bath for me. <laughs> be careful now. Yes, all right. <laughs> Ow! <sighs> 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 Sweet was so eager to go on the picnic that he was just going to leap straight into the bath. Luckily, Sooty remembered that you should always test the temperature first. Hmm. It's a good job he did test the water because it was very hot. In fact, it was hot enough to boil an egg in, which is exactly what they did. Mm, quite funny, but if that had been sweep and not an egg, he would have ended up in hospital. Don't forget, mm. you must always run the cold water first. Mm. Oh. 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 Was your bath all right, Matthew? Uh, no, it wasn't actually, Sue, because Sooty filled the bath and he put all hot water in, forgot to put the cold in. I forgot to check the temperature and... Uh, Put my foot straight in it. Look, oh, I burnt my tootsies. Dear. Oh, you Ooh. are forgetful, Matthew. That's how accidents happen. Never mind, Sue. I managed to soldier on somehow. Don't worry about it. Oh, hello, sweet. Hello, <coughs> sweetie. Well, look, I've got some boiled eggs there for the picnic so we can get... <coughs> Where are... They're in the pan there, sweet. <coughs> you just tip them out. Or I'll... No, don't do that, sweet. You mustn't... T Ow! <coughs> Ooh! I've just burnt my finger. <coughs> Sweet, you must never touch pans. <coughs> what do you want? I shouldn't leave them where you can touch them. No, you're quite right. <coughs> Sooty's right. You should never leave pans where children can touch them. Never mind, it's not too serious. I'll bandage it later on. Look, <coughs> let's get these eggs peeled for the picnic, shall we? Hang on, there's one here for you, Sooty. That's yours. One here for you, sweet. <coughs> there we are. Don't drop it. There we are. That's yours. <coughs> Here's one for you, Sue. Ooh. Right, here we go. There's one for you. Thank you, Matthew. Right, let's get on with uh, peeling the hard-boiled eggs then, shall we? Oh, dear. Not like that, sweet. Do it like this. Like that. Now, Sooty, how about you? You try. <laughs> oh, look at that. For goodness sake, a panful of hard-boiled eggs. You've got to get the soft-boiled one. Never mind, we'll have it scrambled for tea. We're going to have some more eggs, haven't we? Look, here's one for you. Ooh, ouch. That's hot. Here's one for you, sweet. Yours is a bit overdone, I think. That's yours. All right, here's one for you, Sooty. There we go. That's for you. And I'll have one as well. Right, let's get these eggs peeled, yeah. shall we? Come on. Oh, get out on this picnic. But don't do that. Don't do that, Sooty, please. What's he doing? Well, he's rocking on his chair. Don't rock on your chair, please. <laughs> Why shouldn't he rock on his chair? <laughs> I know it's his chair. Don't do it, please, Sooty. It's very dangerous. Look, I'll show you why not, sweet. See? <laughs> If you've got a chair or a stool like this with four legs, mm. you don't go rocking on two backwards and forwards like that, because if you do, you might fall up. Ah! Oh! oh dear. Oh. Matthew can be so clumsy sometimes. I was mm. going to say, or oh, you might fall over and bang your head like I've just mm. done. Oh. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, oh thank you, Sue. Oh, dear, Sue. Matthew, you oh. are in the wars. I didn't realise there were so many dangers in the home. Uh, Sue, more accidents happen in the home than anywhere else, you know that. Anyway, we must get on with this picnic. Hello, Sooty. What else are we taking? Well, we've got some bread here. Well, get the bread knife, would you? Now, as I was saying, Sue, more accidents actually happen. Give, give me that. Ow! Oh, look at that! I've cut my finger, Sue. Can you get a plaster, please? Mmm, mmm. What, what's the matter? Why are you crying? Because you've hurt me. Oh, look, look, Sooty, don't, don't, don't feel bad about it. It wasn't your fault. As a matter of fact, it was my fault because little teddy bears and small children shouldn't touch sharp kitchen knives. Or this might happen. Or even worse. Ooh. Here's a bandage, Matthew. Oh, thank you, oh, Sue. Oh, by the way, never mind cutting the bread, because Why? I found a sliced loaf. Found a sliced loaf? Mm. That's fine. Let's get this finger bandage, shall we, Sooty? Give me a hand. Oof. Oh. Can we what? Can we take toast? Toast? On a picnic? Well, I suppose you can't get into very much trouble with toast, can you? Oh, oh listen, apart from plugging in the electric toaster, that is, and you both know you're not allowed to touch electric plugs, don't you? Jolly good. Well, I'll give you a hand, sweep. You can watch the toast. Let's take it over there. Let's put a slice of bread in. Oh, my finger's stinging. Right, there you are. You watch the toast. You can help me bandage my finger, Sooty. Come on. That's it. Wrap it round. It. It's OK. Sweep! Don't touch the electric toast! You were checking if the toast was all right. You mustn't put your finger down electric toasters. Listen to me and remember this. Never, ever touch electrical equipment. <laughs> what, sweet? <laughs> Never, ever touch electrical equipment. Yes, I see wires. What, look, would you go and play in your bedroom? Just give me time to relax before the picnic. I'm shaking all over. Look at my finger. It's... Stop making all that noise. I don't know if I can face it. Oh, I'll have to go and see what they're up to. Oh, my ankle. The wrist. Ow! Hooray! Hooray! Come on, my brave knight! Have it you! Have it you! Come on, sweet! Come on, Sooty! Oh, do stop all this noise, would you? Oh, and you can stop that as well! Is what? it time for our picnic now? No, Matthew? it isn't time for the picnic, Sue, but there won't be a picnic if you're all not more careful. Oh. You weren't doing anything wrong. Well, I'm sorry to say, Sweep, that you were all doing something wrong, all of you. What, even Matthew, bon, yes, even bon. you. No, don't bounce on the bed suit. Now, that's what you were doing wrong. That's very dangerous. You could bounce off and hit your eye on that bedpost. And as for you to mm -hmm. look at these wooden swords, just look at them. You're only playing. I know, but look, they're very sharp, pointed end sweep. You could poke somebody's eye out with that. Oh, yeah, well, we're very and, sorry. Matthew. I know, Sue. Look, just I'll go and sort out the picnic things. Would you tidy this room up for me, please? Yes. Oh, yes. oh good. Oh, my ankle. <clears throat> oh. 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 oh, no, not again, oh. Matthew. Are you all right? Oh, uh, yeah, I think so, sir. I just banged my eye. Uh, what? Can you see? Well, you can see, sweet, but I don't know oh, about me. No. <laughs> take me on the picnic, Sooty, please. Just take me on the picnic. <laughs> We made it. Do you know, at one point, I thought we weren't going to get here at all. But anyway, the boys are down there playing with the ball, and I'm just... I'm just going to sit here and relax. Well caught, Sooty. Oh, well caught, Sweep. Nice one, Sooty. Well done, Sweep. What a good game. Oh, well hit, Sweep. Whoops. Poor old Sweep. <laughs> uh, where's this going? <laughs> Who did that? Can you have the ball back? No, you can't have the ball back. Play with something else. You can't have the ball back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
So instead of throwing the ball, they decided to throw some stones. Good throw, Sooty. Now it's Sweep's turn. Ready, steady, go! Hmm, not bad for a dog. Now it's the champion's turn again. Move to one side. Ready, steady, go! Oh, nice throw, Sooty. Well done. Sweep's turn. But where's he throwing this one? Careful! A stone? Who threw that stone? That could have been very dangerous, that. If I hadn't had my head bandaged already, that could have hurt me. Look, if you've got that much energy, go and chase this. So young. He was so, so bright. And he owed me ten pence. Sweep? What on earth are you doing here? You are very lucky, you know. You shouldn't go into the road like that. You ought to learn your Green Cross code. Listen, never go into the road with anybody except your mummy or your daddy or a grown up. Otherwise, you won't live long enough to learn the Green Cross code. What about the ball? Never mind about the ball. I'll get the ball. Good morning. Yeah. Oh, 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 what happened? What happened? Oh, oh, oh. Please don't come to your name. I'm, I'm a buffoon like you comes along. I'm sorry. I'm oh, uh, just jolly well hope so. Don't you know your green cost code, young man? Well, yes, I do. Shotty and sweet night. They all should jolly well learn it from them. I'm sorry. I don't know what the world's coming to with young men like you. You're a danger to the community. I'm so angry. patient doing? Oh, Sue, I feel as if I've been run over by a steamroller. Oh, dear. Well, you're lucky it was only a bicycle. Really, mm. Matthew, I'm surprised at you for being so careless. Well, I'm certainly paying for my carelessness now, Sue, yes, aren't you I? Are. Anyway, at least I've learnt something today. I hope you three have learnt something. Mm. And I hope you've learnt something as well. Hey, would you like me to read you a story? Mm. Oh, yes. Can it be about us at the seaside? Are you, at the seaside? Mm. All right, then. Because no accidents happen there. Sweet accidents happen absolutely everywhere, as you'll soon see when I read you this story. It's called Sweep's Lucky Escape. One day, Sooty and Sweep and Sue went to the seaside. They were having a lovely time. Sooty and Sue were busy digging holes in the sand. What shall I do? said Sweep, who didn't want to dig. Why don't you go make a sandcastle? said Sooty. Well, Sweep didn't really want to make a sandcastle, so instead he thought he'd go for a little wander along the beach. That was his first big mistake. He didn't tell his friends where he was going. He was quite happy wandering along, kicking his feet in the water, enjoying the sunshine. He stopped walking and stood watching the sea. Excuse me, said a voice beside him. Excuse me, is this your air bed? Sweep turned and saw a little girl with a blurp mattress, the sort that you use at the seaside. No, said Sweep, it's not mine. Well, would you mind taking charge of it for me? I found it, but I have to go for my tea now, said the little girl, and she left. It really was a very nice airbed, 
And the more Sweep thought about it, the more he was sure that the rightful owner wouldn't mind if he just had a very quick go on it. So before you could say, be careful, Sweep, he raced into the sea with the airbed. It was great. He lay on his tummy and splashed about in the warm sunshine. That was his second big mistake. Goodness knows how long he lay there, but the next time he looked up, the wind and the current had carried him right out to sea. He shouted to the people on the beach, but they were too far away to hear. He waved his arms, but no one saw him. He tried to paddle back, but the wind was blowing him back all the time. He felt sure that Sooty and Sue would soon miss him and raise the alarm, and then he remembered. He hadn't told them where he was going off to. He wished he had now, and he wished he stayed close to the edge of this water with his airbed. This is how people get swept away, he thought. Sweep really thought he'd had it, when he suddenly heard a strange noise. He looked up, and he nearly fell off the airbed with delight. It was a helicopter, and he could see Sooty and Sue up there with the pilot. In next to no time, the helicopter dropped a rope and hauled Sweep up to safety. Above the noise of the engine, he heard Sooty say, It's a good job that little girl came and told us where you were. You mustn't wander off without telling people. And never go into deep water on your own. I won't. Ever again. <laughs> Do be careful. Bye bye. What sweet? Can you rise on my plaster? Go on then. Sue, peel me a grape, would you? All right, my See you. You have a touch, Chester. <laughs>